everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the meadow stitch. And I am going to confess, sometimes I come across a stitch or a stitch pattern that doesn't have a name attached to it. So I'm calling it the meadow stitch because it kind of reminds me of a grassy meadow. If you uh, take a look at the stitch and happen to know another name for it, feel free to drop it down in the comments. But welcome. So today we're going to learn how to crochet this subtly textured stitch. It's very easy to work. It's a two row repeat and it has lots of drape to it. You can see it's not quite fully solid uh, in nature. So it's going to make itself um, very useful for a variety of projects, especially ones requiring a lot of drape and maybe not a lot of bulk. It features these rows of double crochet stitches and then the subtle texture in between them. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a 5mm or an H8 crochet hook as well as a worsted weight 100% cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand and there's links for these items in the description of this video. Also down in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written instructions which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here don't forget to subscribe and uh, this channel is updated weekly with new free crochet stitch tutorials and crochet patterns. So uh, be sure to subscribe to notifications as well so you can see when I have a new video posted. So let's uh, grab our hooks and yarn and get started. Now our meadow stitch today is worked in rows so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain today will need to be an even number of stitches, so a multiple of two. And uh, today I'm going to chain 24. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. Next, you're going to work a double crochet into the next chain. And then a single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Double crochet into your next chain, followed by a single crochet into your next all the way across and you will finish off with a single crochet stitch in your final stitch. At the end of row one, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. When you turn your work, you shall see a subtle texture popping through on the other side. For row two, you're going to skip the stitch, that first stitch at the base of your turning chain because your turning chain counts as a double crochet. And you're going to double crochet into the next stitch and then double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. For row three, your chain one does not count as a stitch, so you're going to work a single crochet into that first stitch, followed by a double crochet into your next. Single crochet into your next stitch, double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of row three you're going to chain three and turn your work and that's it for the repeats for this pattern. From here on end you're simply going to repeat your row two which was your double crochet in each stitch all the way across followed by your row three, which we just worked. So repeat row two and three for as long as you would like, fasten off, 
weave in your ends and that's all there is to working this beautiful meadow stitch so thank you so much for joining me once again don't forget to subscribe say hello down in the comments if you happen to uh, create something with the meadow stitch feel free to tag me on social media at rich textures crochet i would love to come by and admire it so until next time happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.